Hello, how are you? It's time to film a Dollar Tree haul. And tomorrow I should have a Dollar Tree come with me up. Tomorrow or the next day. I've been going back and forth. Um, like as as a new-ish YouTuber wondering, you know, should I put up a schedule? Or should I film like as I can and or as like as inspiration allows? If that makes sense. Um but anyways. Back to the Dollar Tree haul. That's just some little thoughts that have been on my brain lately. Um, so here's the receipt. Da da da. So, in one of my uh, most recent videos, the giveaway that I won from Wendy Harrell, I had hauled some craft stickers from Calico something or other. I'll try to, I'll leave, link it in the description box or, sorry, I'm watching some gaming over here. Killer Shark 408 Gaming. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll link it in the description box or in one of the cards here. But, um, yeah, I was so excited for those stickers. And they didn't work, y'all. They were defective. And actually, if you go to that video in the description box next to where I listed the stickers, because I, I usually list all the items that I haul um, for you, for your convenience, if you're interested. Um, I put there, these are defective. They didn't work. Um, that's not to say that they're all like that. If you hauled them, maybe yours worked. I know for a while there seemed like there were some really nice stickers out there from, from like non Dollar Tree brands or whatever. But anyways, those did not work for me. So I took them back today, um, exchanged them. So it does say we will gladly exchange any unopened item with original receipt. We do not offer a refund. Now, I actually had opened it. I actually had tried to use one sticker, but um, either the cashier didn't care or in a way it, it was kind of like, I don't know what you can do with like def defective stickers, you know, because when I tried to take it off, because I figured I would just try to use it, um, like, Put some glue on it and stick it on like that you know i was gonna work with it but no i just i tried to peel it off and it just ripped apart so anyways um long intro i'll be sure like i do in my other i have in my other videos or at least some of them i'll put like a little time stamp okay so you know when the haul starts and such anyways so let's get into it it's a medium sized haul 20 some items. I have some wish list items in here. I have some new items in here. A lot of them will be in the come with me that I'll post soon. Uh, what else do we have in here? I have a lot of frozen food items in here. Essentials. Here's the thing. I was going to name this video Dollar Tree Discipline. Yeah, that did not happen. That like went out the window, uh, you know, cause I honestly, I really wasn't expecting to see anything. I always do that. Why do I underestimate my Dollar Tree? Why do I do that? Why? I just do sometimes. I guess cause it's so small and it's pretty messy and you know, but they're, they try. I'm going to say that I, you know, and they always get the good stuff in my local Dollar Tree. They really do. Um, I even saw those new rose keychains in there. Really, I only saw one, so I didn't take it. But, um, yeah, I saw some other cool stuff in there. So, let's, let's, let's go. Let's get into it for real this time. I'll be leaning over a bit here, so please excuse. So, I got some tissues. I'm about to run out of tissues. And uh, these are 85 two ply, la da la da la. I went in the Dollar Tree for paper towels. One thing, okay? 
I didn't see the paper towels. I was going to go back to look for them. Totally forgot. Why? Because I saw all this other stuff. So yeah, I got these though. I did need Kleenex. So hey, you know what? At least we have Kleenex and toilet paper. We'll just work with that. Moving on. Here's a wish list item. Uh, also in one of my recent videos, I think that same giveaway video, I had hauled some Batman Hot Wheels um, little toys for boyfriend. And he had mentioned that he wanted the Batmobile. And guess what? I found it. Sorry for that flash of light if you just got... Yeah, sorry. So yeah, once again, there's the six in the collection. So, happy I found that. Snatched it right up. Moving on. This is in no particular order, my friends. I also ran out of my lens wipes, the Zeiss brand. So, I found these though. And I'm pretty sure I do like these. I do... Like, faintly recall using these before. So they should be good. Um, if I got up and got the other packaging, I could tell you whether it's the same count or not. But um, I'll list it in the description box if you're interested. Because I, I couldn't remember also if they had the same 16 count of wipes in there. So going to use these because I didn't see the other brand. Great. I found these little chapsticks. Aren't they cute? Some Fanta. Strawberry. They had a cherry Coke, like the cherry Coca-Cola one, which I almost got that one. But I thought I might have gotten, like, what's the word? I, I thought I would have, I thought I would have gotten, like, on my nerves after a while, if that makes sense. So I just went with a plain strawberry, but they had like vanilla Coca-Cola, the strawberry Fanta, grape Fanta, some other ones. And then another wish list item. I was so happy to find the Bombastic skins. And this is the, um, I, don't, I don't think they're, they just say yummy natural flavor. So yeah, I got two of them. And then here's the info, their website. I'm sure they take donations if you're interested. But there's all kinds of info there. So up to, they donate 1% of net profits up to 250000 to support organizations dedicated to protecting skins of all kinds around the world. It says, yeah, learn more at saveskins.com. And I am all about the cruelty-free. I'm all about it. You know, yes, I'm not vegan and such. But at least when it comes to, like, beauty-related items and stuff, I really do try to, to shop cruelty-free. I don't buy any leather products. Um, anyways, I won't get into it. Let's move on. But, yeah, okay? I'm trying. Okay. Um, kind of all over the place, right, right, but, um, I need to save this for, for another little piece right here, but I found this. I haven't seen these hauled. If you have, let the community know if they're in your area, if you've used it, do you like it? Because I've used the OxyClean Booster. I think it is I've used that for some time now I think I tried the orange one too and that was okay but um, this one caught my eye I don't recall seeing it in my Dollar Tree and this is 32 ounces 908 grams uh, says laundry booster with stain lifter um tip for these, at least in my store, there were some that had less product than others. So I was there checking them and to grab the one that had, um, I guess, the most product in it. You know, that didn't seem to be missing anything. Okay, moving on, moving on. What do I have over here? Oh, okay. 
kind of along those lines. Beware. Yes. What does that say? Ant and Roach Killer. Yes. I live in Chicago. Yes. I live in a small apartment. Yes. This building has issues with little critters. Now, I've gotten rid of most of the problem, which is like ceiling cracks and things like that. But every now and then, I still have problems. And I'm not having it. I have a video, one of the first videos I uploaded on my channel called War on the Roaches, okay? So this is going to be kind of like an update on that. Um, and I'll do like an official updated video for that. But anyways, I'm going to try... Um, first I'm gonna, you know, I, I clean my kitchen, okay? But I'm gonna use some of this, which I hauled from the DT, and kind of do like a deep clean on my kitchen, and then spray this little bad boy. It says to spray it, um, like on baseboards and cracks around your, uh, oven stove. Because that's the problem. Well, I won't get into it. But, um, yeah, any little areas that you think they might be coming from, you want to spray this there. And I guess it's supposed to help for two to four weeks, and then you'll have to reapply it. So, sorry if that grossed some of you guys out. But you know what? That's, that's, the, that's what's going on in my life. Um, I'm just glad that it's not as bad as it was when I first moved in here. Um, but it's still not where it needs to be by my standards. So, yeah. Moving on. Okay. Ran, I'm running out of conditioner. I used the macadamia oil shampoo and conditioner. And I kind of like, um, what's the word? Anyways. I rotate it with other products, but I wanted, I've been wanting to try this coconut oil one. So I just got the conditioner and I love the way it smells. So it reminds me of, I think the brand is Nexus. I want to say it's Nexus and it's kind of one of those salon foofy brands, Foofy, but um, it has this light coconut smell scent. And, um, anyways, this reminds me of that. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. But, okay, and then, okay, now some food items. Kitty Cat, she loves these. She loves these. She also liked the other ones that I hauled, the Sheba brand ones. But when I saw that these were still in my local DT, I grabbed Two of them for her, because she's just a little fatty, and she's so cute about it. And I need to grab some frozen items out of the freezer. Alright, frozen items. I'm very excited about these. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've heard good things about these, and I love me some jalapeno poppers. There's some info right there. So, looking forward to trying those. And there's how many in there? Ah, uh, how many are in here? About eight pieces in here. So if I like them, I'll buy some more. I did hear they were spicy. I think it was Cha Cha Cakes channel. Uh, she, it was cool. She did like a whole taste testing and everything. I'll link that down below too. Okay, so frozen items. I really like this brand, the Pick Sweet Farm Steamables. So this is what's for dinner tonight. This and some diced potatoes and some ground beef, some tomato and seasonings, kind of like a picadillo. In Spanish, we say a picadillo, like the diced, you know, little goulash or something. That's what's for dinner. I don't run out of energy some cut okra I love okra I love it just like this or I love it like battered and deep fried that's good too or in soups stews 
go for it. Okay, some broccoli cuts. These are great. I like these broccoli cuts better than the, what is it, like TJ Farms broccoli, I think, the regular DT brand. I like these better. Um, most of these are repurchases, except for the, the pepper bites. Some mango chunks for my smoothies. That's Jennifer's from my girl Jen A's garden. Um, Repurchase and favorite. The spring rolls. Ten pieces in here. It's awesome. And some sliced peaches for smoothies. Okay, now on to some goodies. I say goodies, I mean like stickers. What else do I have in here? Let's just see, okay? Excuse me. Um, there were a lot more goodies in the store um, that I didn't haul, but they'll be in that come with me coming up. Like for example, some of the new items I saw were some LED notebooks. Um, some cute, like, candle holders that were sea life related in blues and turquoise. And they had sea turtles and shells. They were super cute. Um, anyways, yeah. So, let's go. I think, what are the goodies that I have? I just have a few, like I said. But I found these. And if you know me, then you know anytime I see the Squinchy brand, with the dark brown hair ties, I'm going to grab them. These are 24 pieces, and this is for the thick hair. And these are a lot thicker um, than the other hair ties that I've been hauling, which they've been working well, but I, I have high hopes for this one because, again, uh, performance season is coming up, and so I'm starting to grab all my things together, hair ties, hair nets, I mean, pantyhose, I have to, yeah, I have to get prepared. Scoozy. Scoozy. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I hauled some more food items, some tuna. I grabbed two of those. I love these, especially... When I'm starving, I come home and I don't have, yeah, you know, I don't want to cook. I just want to eat something right away. Or if I'm rushing out the door, I'll have a sandwich or something. Okay, last but not least, just a few stickers. Um, I've seen these hauled before, so I picked them up because I really do think I'll love them in my planner. And here's the back. Side. So I grabbed these. They're simple. They're colorful. I think they'll be very effective in my planner. Then I found these. I love my coffee. I love my tea. So I grabbed these. Uh, look at the little coffee beans and there's some hearts in there. Coffee mug. Yeah. I love it. And the colors are the, the colors are pretty. I like the colors too. Okay, and then the last item. I feel like I got more stuff, but I guess not. Okay, the last item. More stickers. And I really like this. Because, I mean, it suits my lifestyle. It says, let's get fit. Eat well. You've got this. Drink up. So it has a little... What do you call this thing right here? I can't even think of it. But anyways, the little dumbbells, the water bottle, a little timer, the tennis shoe. I forget what these are called, but they're to help you do like your push-ups. An apple. What is this like little um, measuring tape? I like this the most though. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Like a little iPod or something. So yeah, I thought those were cute. I picked them up and yeah that's it you guys that is it I hope you enjoyed the haul 
I'm a little winded now. Now I have to go. Um, I'm going to put the food away. I'm going to wipe down my kitchen. Spray some of this stuff. And cook dinner. Yeah. Or if after all that, if I'm like, I'm done with today. Uh, I've already talked to boyfriend. And he may just bring home some takeout. Because you know what? We live in Chicago. And there is some darn good takeout, y'all. Let me tell you. And it's affordable. So, yeah. Okay. No complaints here. I hope you're well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, if you want more information, it will be linked down in the description box below. If not immediately, then soon after. So yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Ciao for now.